One third of startups are good investments. One third turn into something, but you wish you hadn't made the investment. And one third are zeros. Klarna's aggressive cost cutting measures and focus on AI are part of a broader trend where companies across various sectors are implementing AI driven solutions to enhance efficiency and reduce costs. Google co founder Sergey Brin is back at Google and working on AI. The rate at which new CLI tools are being written has picked up over the past few years after seeing relatively little activity between 1995 and 2015. This article discusses the trend where people are rewriting and rethinking staples of the command line interface, why the trend may be happening, and why the trend is a good thing. New tools have the opportunity to learn from their predecessors and build upon them. While the new tools may not be perfect, they are a result of software becoming more polished and adapted to new use cases. Felifax is a framework for continued training and fine-tuning of open-source large language models using the XLA runtime. It takes care of the runtime setup while providing a Jupyter notebook to get started. The project aims to build the infrastructure to make it easier to run AI workloads on non-NVIDIA hardware. Felifax is easy to use, easy to configure, and easy to scale. The internet was deeply personal and creative back when people had blogs and MySpace. Content was driven by the need and want of people to share knowledge. OpenAI is in talks to raise $6.5 billion from investors at a valuation of $150 billion. It is also in talks to raise $5 billion in debt from banks in the form of a revolving credit facility. The discussions are still ongoing and the terms could change. The financing will support the need for computing power and other operating expenses. OpenAI is aiming to allow employees to sell some of their shares in a tender offer later this year. Google search results now directly link to the Internet Archive to add historical contexts for the links in results. It had removed its cached pages feature from search earlier this year. The feature can be accessed by tapping on more about this page through the three dots menu that appears alongside all search results. It is still rolling out. A screenshot is available in the article. Oracle is designing a data center that will require more than a gigawatt of power. It will be powered by three small modular nuclear reactors. Oracle has already received building permits for the reactors, but hasn't publicly disclosed the location of the data center or future reactors. There are currently three operational small modular reactors in the world, with experts in the industry generally agreeing that the technology won't be commercialized in the U.S. until the 2030s. Oracle recently introduced new types of clusters to be available for AI training through Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, the most powerful of which offers up to 2.4 zettaflops of AI performance. A new feature in Google's Play Integrity API allows apps to push remediation dialogues during sideloading that can't be worked around. This article tells the inside story of how Bob Iger undermined and outmaneuvered Bob Chapek to return to power at Disney. Chapek was Iger's chosen successor after Iger stepped down in late February 2020. Iger stayed in the company as a creative director and executive chairman of the board after stepping down as chief executive. Chapek was still required to report to Iger, resulting in conflict. The board ultimately fired Chapek just before Thanksgiving in 2022 and replaced him with Iger. Mark Zuckerberg recorded a podcast about artificial intelligence, the metaverse, and how he outmaneuvered the rest of Silicon Valley to keep his company winning at a live event with more than 6,000 attendees who paid $50 or more for a ticket. The event included appearances from Jamie Dimon, the chief executive of J.P. Morgan Chase, Daniel Ek, the founder of Spotify, and Jensen Huang, the chief executive of NVIDIA. Tech billions and top executives have been increasingly opting to tell their stories in the friendly spaces of podcasts and YouTube streams, rather than in traditional media interviews, as they allow guests more leeway to expound on their pursuits and passions. The democratization of media has allowed anyone to have a personal talk show, and those in powerful positions now have a wide array of options to choose from when they want to reach the public.